Only on CBS This Morning, we spoke to the parents of a British motorcyclist killed by an American driver. Taking their case to the American people, Harry Dunn's parents have spent today touring the TV networks in their fight for justice. Why has it taken so long? You know, it's, it's seven weeks tomorrow mm -hmm. since we lost our boy. A hectic round of interviews in their effort to keep up the pressure on the US government. Anne Sekoulis left the UK under diplomatic immunity while police were investigating. We, we are literally hour by hour. In a moving news conference, Harry's mother had this message for her. Although she's robbed us of one of ours, it wasn't unintentional, it was an accident, we understand that. But seven weeks on, and we've had to do this to get an apology, just in writing, that's just wrong. Sorry. Trauma compounded by a sense of injustice. And now it feels like it's just gone right back to that night he died and it's just no way I could start grieving yet. As a family we can't start yet. Dignified and resilient despite all the pressures. In their hotel room they told me why they had to come. Charlotte spoke of the promise she made to Harry. I promised him at the hospital um, after we'd lost him, I promised him that we would do all we could to get justice for him. But we thought it was going to be really simple then. We didn't know she was going to flee. We just thought it was a clear-cut case. Tim, who'd gone to the crash scene, described how he reassured his dying son. He was on the stretcher. Uh, they were just pulling him out of the ditch. So I managed to speak to him and say, Harry, it's your dad, be calm, let them do what they need to do. It helped to speak to him. He, he knew I was there, which was, I think, helped him to know that he had somebody in his corner, you know, that his dad was there for him. Harry Dunn's parents are hopeful that their message is having an impact here. They've now got their sights set on Washington, D.C., determined, if they can, to make their case directly to President Trump. Neil Connery, News at 10, New York.